up everybody once again it's brand man sean and this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself now i gotta talk to y'all y'all about something that's you know low-key one of the big reasons for old town road success that people don't really talk about and it's really a big opportunity for anybody who has that entrepreneurial savvy that entrepreneurial inkling when it comes to the music industry and that is the kids man the kids. Now, what do I mean by that exactly? Well, all right, every kid in my family loves Old Town Road. And it's not just the kids in my family, but I'm talking about like three to seven years old when I'm talking about the kids. Be clear, when I say the kids, I really do mean kids. And the big part about this to really keep in mind is a lot of people say, yo, like who's even still playing that song? Why is it still on the charts? And this isn't the only reason a song like that will stay on the charts that long, but you have to consider a lot of times there are people who are outside of your demographic playing the music. In this case, a lot of kids do account for some of those people. And it might be indirect because, of course, it might be parents playing it for the kids. But the point is, the reason this is a huge opportunity is because, like no era before, like people are able to account for the amount of times kids like to play music in the same way beforehand, before streaming. When it came out, the hip hop was the most powerful and listened to genre. It wasn't really that big of a surprise for the you know younger generations who, who were in the know, but it was a huge surprise for those other folks, right? The industry, a lot of people in the corporate sphere, and the reason is because so much of hip hop was pirated, right? People were getting it for free, so it wasn't being accounted for in official records in the same way, but the key Kids have that similar effect. It's not that they were stealing music necessarily. However, it's just the fact that children stream things so much. They listen to things so, so often, right? Or they consume so often. So it's not even necessarily specific to stream, but they consume so many times because for one, kids have way more time than anybody else way more time on their hands so they have more time to consume even teenagers right most likely a huge portion of the time that you spend on just a consumption is going to be in your teenage years right and that's that more impactful period where you're really intentionally seeking certain things out but when you're a kid children are listening to things over and over and over again i mean the same thing over and over again once again this isn't just music right my daughter she would literally watch toy story again and again and again with no sound right just addicted to watching the same thing over and over again until they move on to the next thing but then they do it again and again and again and again and again until they move on to the next thing so their extreme consumer behavior is something that's extremely beneficial for the industry and anybody who can tap into that market. I know a lot of teachers who have music that they've started to like create their own rap songs and now they've kind of blown up in that niche where so many kids are playing their music over and over again. And I mean several teachers. I know multiple teachers who have done this because as a marketplace, once you're in there, the kids will sing it over and over again to the point that it's getting on the parents' nerves. It's a common thing. So once again, just to bring it full circle, a huge entrepreneurial opportunity for people who haven't really identified this yet, especially in the streaming era, is tapping into the kids market because not only was it always beneficial because people buy stuff for their kids, right? People are looking for things to entertain their kids or teach their kids, but even more so, the market is even bigger than before because so many of those streams that would have actually been lost when it came to just buying a CD back in the day are being accounted for in streams and actually being multiplied. So if you feel like hacking a niche just for a quick little check, that's something you might wanna check out. But in all seriousness, it's a real thing and you will see more and more people looking to strategically jump into that. I know as an artist, it might not necessarily suit you and what you're trying to do, but it is one of the reasons you will find a lot of people who have some incredibly simple songs that they like to keep that way because it makes it easy for the kids to remember. And obviously not being super explicit makes it easier to listen around the kids. And once they get caught on to something and they have a song, they will listen to that same song in a short period of time, far more times than an adult ever would. Trust me. Like all opportunities, it's not an opportunity for everybody, but it is an opportunity. Man, I would love to know what you guys think about this, but other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, might as well share it, and if you're not, subscribe. You know what to do. 
hit that subscribe button.